Hi everyone and welcome back to Monday Night Stamping. Um, this is a place where we come to craft, connect and chat and just, just hang out together on a Monday evening. So I have been away, um, seems like all fall, for one thing or another, and I'm just excited to be back crafting with you. In September I was away about half the month, we re went to look after Harry's sister, and then most of October we've been traveling. So. Um, um, it's good to be home and it's good to be back in the craft room and all of that kind of thing. So my name is Lillian with Stampers Niche and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator coming to you from Alberta, Canada. And today is October the 28th, almost Halloween. So um, there are lots of little, little people all excited about Halloween, I know. So um, we're just going to get started. Now, um, before we get started, maybe share your favorite Halloween treat. Um, what, do you, what do you really enjoy? I enjoy um, a chewy candy. So um, if it's um, oh, Jolly Ranchers, Twizzlers, that kind of thing, I enjoy that kind of thing. So what is your favorite Halloween treat? And as you're typing that in, I am just going to go down to my desktop and we'll get started. So here we go. Whoops, it would help if I change the camera, right? If it would change. I am feeling terribly out of practice, so it might just show up tonight in a few different ways. So, oh, rockets. Oh, yes, those are good, Linda. I like those a lot. Um, what are some of the other favorite Halloween trees that some of you have? And just while you're typing that in, I just want to remind you, yes, it is almost the end of October. So that means the October specials are almost at the end. So remember, it's uh, the Stamping Up kits, it's up to 30% off. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later. But um, you, um, if you have your eye on a kit for a gift or for yourself, um, now is the time. The other thing is, is the starter kit is on a special. So the starter kit is what you can get as if you sign up to be a demonstrator. That's what is meant by that. The really neat thing is, is Stamping Up gives you a great deal. It's always the best deal. It's just even more special during the month of October. Um, and there's no penalty. You can sign up for the starter kit and you can say, okay, that's all I want to do. Um, I'm not going to do anything else. I just have a huge wish list and it's cheaper to do it this way. Or you might say, well, I'm going to do that and then be a happy uh, shopper. I'm going to get, enjoy my discount on my shopping. Or you might say, well, I've got a few friends. I think I can maybe, you know, sell a little bit. Or you might want to turn it into a business or you can change uh, during that. But what you get to do is you get to choose $206 worth of product for just $135. So that's, that's a huge saving. Plus there is no shipping and handling or GST on a starter kit. And they always tuck a few extra things in there as well. So if that does interest you, make your list and get it as close to $206 as you can. And then go here and um, you can be part of my team or you can contact me if you have questions. Okay, uh, so good to see so many of you jumping on and saying hi. That is excellent. Now, I don't know about you, but when because I've been away so much, I, ha I was having trouble getting started at my craft desk again. So I remembered that um, this kit that we saw in the mini catalog, and it was a sneak peek. I don't know how many of you contacted me and said, where can I get whatever they're making there? Um, and then I had to say, well, you have to wait for that kit to be released. And it was released. And so we're going to do it tonight. Now, some of you are saying, what is this? Well, it's just a paper clip, and then I made one of these tags with the keeping tabs. Now, there's you can use a punch, or there's also a die available. And all I did was stick it onto the end of a paper clip, and I need to decorate them. But I've been away. I'll, 
I'll get to that. So let's bring that kit in. I Because I was um, kind of um, struggling at my craft table and because there's a, a the kit special, I thought this was the perfect time to bring this kit in and share it with you. So let's I'm just do, getting my computer there. There we are. So this is the Christmas Ornaments Kit. So I haven't made it, so we're going to learn and discover it together. So here it is. It's all packaged together. These boxes are fabulous as well. So the bows are already tied for you. I know some of you were cheering right away. I'm going to bring this in and put some of the things on here. So we've got the bows. We have this package and it's got uh, little pine cones and then these little embellishments as well. So we'll open that up and have it ready to go. Then we have this here and I just made a little slit in it so I wouldn't struggle tonight. Um, so in here we have this. So we've got some of this gold twine. Everything's packaged so well. I save all these little bags to keep things in afterwards. So we um, have some great gold twine. So let's just get that started. Where's the beginning here? I think it's right about here. Huh. Well, oh, there it is. There it comes. So we'll get that started so it's not difficult. And I'm going to bring in, well, I haven't got it handy. And then we've got these metal rings and there are two sizes. There's a small size, there's three of the small size, and then six of the larger. So just cute so that you have a sense of um, how big they are. Oh, here's a card, I'll turn it over. The big ones, in proportion are about like that. So they're about four inches across. And the little ones are like that. So they're about three inches across. So we have those there. They are very sturdy. Okay, so we've got those. And then we have this here. And when you open this up, on the back, you always find the instructions, so we'll keep that. You also always find a piece of cardboard. So if you are traveling or you're maybe doing it in the living room, this is a great little work surface. I keep these and use them all the time. But for now, we will just get that out of the way. And, ooh, wow, look at this. Look at how intricate that is. Ooh, gorgeous. So we've got a couple of sheets of those. So we'll put those over here. And oh, we've got three of those. And then we've got some of these and they are double sided. So we've got that. And we've also got these. So we've got that. Is this these are different sizes. Okay, so that's that. This is the smaller size. This is a little bit bigger, but it has the same type of thing. Oh, we've got our adhesives. That's the neat thing about our kits, is you can grab a kit and a pair of scissors, and you have got your crafting all set to go. Or you can gift them, and people don't need a whole lot of special things. Well, look at these leaves. Uh, look at the colors, aren't they neat? Ooh, I love them, and they're double-sided as well. So. How do we get started on this? So we're obviously, we're going to make these. So we're going to make nine of them. So there are three little ones. Um, and then there are um, three that are this, this style and three this style. But again, you can mix it up and um, change it out anytime you want. Happy to see you too, Marilyn and Gail and everybody who's saying hello, excellent. Um, it's so good to have you here, and I'm so glad to be back. And then we've got the instructions. But here's a little thing. Look back here. This it says number one. This is all that you need to gather for number one. Number two, gather these. Number three, gather these. And then you go over here. So for number one, let's do number one. It looks like it's the small hoop because it's smaller than that. So we'll grab... A small hoop and we're going to grab 
one of these. Now, true confession time. I reorganized my stuff a while ago. I can't remember when. And um, I went to find my glue gun today and I can't find it. It's in some very safe spot. I just don't know what safe spot it is. So we need this, this. So we're going to get, um, better pay attention here. Sometimes if I'm really good, are these all the same? I can punch these all out at once. These are so intricate. I might be pushing my luck a little bit here. So we need one of these. And then we need one of these. So have you ever organized and then can't find some something? Has that ever been something you've done? Every time I do it, I it seems like I can't find stuff afterwards. And then we need two pine cones. So we'll get two pine cones. And then we need some of this, the twine. So now let's go back to instructions for number one. It says we need 18 inches of twine. So let's measure it. I'm just using my glass mat. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There we go. Now I know that I need 18 inches for most of the other projects. So I'm going to measure a few more right now while I've got that there. Use that as my measuring stick. So we'll have, have some to go with. There we go. So we need one of these and we are good to go and we need our adhesives. So first step, it says to put a glue dot at the bottom and the top. So let's do that. And some of you have been asking, where have I been? Well, one of our bucket list things was always to do a cruise to Hawaii for a couple of things. We enjoy cruising. We haven't done it for, oh, I don't know, 15 years. Um, but we've also wondered, uh, wanted to explore and find out. We've been to Maui, but we haven't been to, and we've been to um, Oahu, but hadn't been to some of the other islands. So we also were curious as to what the other islands were like. So we, we did both and we did a cruise from Vancouver to Hawaii and visited four of the islands. We didn't visit Maui. But, oh, it was just fabulous, and we got so spoiled. So I've got a glue dot here and a glue dot here, and I have folded my twine in half. So I'm just going to put the loops just as if you were making a tag. So putting it through, and then the little loop. So you can see how it's just like if I was making a tag. Now I'm going to pull it tight and push it into that glue dot. So the purpose of the glue dot is just to hold it in place so that it's easier to work with. Then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to put one behind and one in front. And we do this for all of the, these projects. So once you've done one, you'll get the idea. So we've got it that way. And we are pushing that one in there. Again, just to make it easier to work with. And now we're going to tie a knot. Yeah, now we're going to tie a knot. You can see why if you don't push it into the glue dot, it wants to travel around the circle, which I just did. I don't have it pushed in. Maybe I need another glue dot there. I will see. We'll see how this goes. 
this doesn't stick here, we'll get another glue dot. Oh, I think that's going to work. So now we've got it like that. So we've got this, this is going to be what you're tying on the tree or your package or whatever. And we've got this like that. Now what you're going to do, so what it says here, so we've done step one. Step two is you're going to take this and you're going to slide, let me just see here. You're going to slide this underneath. And so what you've got is this is where you can write a message if you want. Or you can put a photo there or something like that. So it's like that. And I'm just trying to keep it somewhat even, but I'm not worried too much right now. All I want to do is put my dimensionals on and you can put as many or as little as you want. So I've got those four. Now I'm going to hold the twine in place. So now I want to watch my placement and just put one there and one there. So they're just holding the twine in place. Actually, I think, oh, forget it. I am going to use another one. This is overkill, but I meant to get a little closer to the top. So there we go. I've got lots of dimensionals, so it's no big deal. Bring my little tray in. Peel the backings off. So this would be fun to do, oh, I don't know, to have some friends over or family over and make them together. And then you're just going to fold this over like that, line it up so it all lines up. And now what you have is this, and it's like that. And on this side, it's like that. What did I just do? Okay, so my glue dot isn't holding. I'm going to put another glue dot in there. A little surgery. Take the backing off. And we'll, we'll fix this for sure. and my knot's coming loose. I'll just double knot it again. I likely got sidetracked and didn't. There, that's nice and secure. So there, we've got it like that. Now on the side, not the white side, but on this side, we're going to build our, our uh, thing. So we have this and this, we're going to put it down. So we're gonna put this piece on first and it is going to go oh, just sort of like that. So I think we'll use glue dots for that. And the nice thing, because there's color on both sides, um, and part of it will hang over, so your ornament is going to um, twist on the tree or the package that you put it on. So it will be colorful on both sides. There won't be a a bad side and a good side, it'll be all good. So question, how many of you have made this kit or have been thinking about making this kit? There we go. So we all put it just down like that. Now we're going to bring in this piece here and we will put it down. So I'm, what I'm doing is just looking here and this one here is supposed to be on dimensional. So that one was supposed to be two, but I forgot. So um, I didn't look, but you see the little dimensional pattern there. So we're going to put a dimensional behind here. And this, this kit is so, so forgiving. You really don't need to worry about it. And you might be saying the dimensional is showing. It is, but don't worry about that because we are going to be doing, covering it up. So now we've got it like that. 
Now this is where you would use a glue gun, but I don't have mine tonight, so I'm just going to use glue dots. But you can see on the instructions they give like a little silver swish where you would use a glue gun. Um, so we're going to do the, the bow and then two of the pine cones. So we're going to just use a dimensional. We're going to put the bow on. like this, and this is what's going to cover up that dimensional there. So now we've got little pine cones and they're going to go on like that. So I need to put my glue dot there and when I find my glue gun, I will reinforce this, but our glue dots are pretty strong. I'm gonna put a couple So there, so we'll put that there and put a couple more. I know that the grandkids are going to want to make these with me and that'll be so much fun. And then they can give it to teachers or whatever. And just like that, give that a good push, we have our first little ornament made. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, if you were hand delivering a card, you could even put this on the on a card. So what I would do here, I'm not going to tie it right now. If I was hanging it as an ornament, I would tie a knot, but I might be tying this around um, Oh, some baking or something like that. So I am not going to tie that just yet. So let's go on to ornament number two. So this was ornament number one. We're going to go to ornament number two. So let's see what we need. We need the big hoop. We need the little swishy thing. So there's a little swishy thing. We need some leaves. I buried the leaves. Where did I bury them? Here. We need the green circles. We need one of them. I should likely give them a fold before I use them. We need some twine. And we need this. And that is this one right here. This is a nice sturdy paper. I'm so impressed. There we go. So we've got that. So now we have all the pieces and then we need dimensionals and glue dots. Oh, and we need three pine cones. Well, some are little and some are big. I didn't realize that. There's a little one and a little one and a big one. And we need some red berries. All right, instructions for number two. We're going to do the cord thing again. So we'll bring this in, we'll bring this in. We will Put our glue dots on. I'm going to put this one more on the top. You like the idea of putting it on a on baking for a gift? I think it would be really pretty, wouldn't it, Linda? I also think it would look really neat on a wine bottle or or even um, you know a hand soap thing something like that. I think it would look really good. So now I'm folding my twine in half, putting the loop through, putting the ends through my loop and pulling and then pushing it into that glue dot. I feel much more confident doing the second one than the first one. I just have to say that. And then we're bringing this up here so once you get started on these, 
you will uh, get faster and faster. But, you know, I enjoy the process too. So that's, there we go. We're just going to tie it knot here oh, and get it back in the glue dot. There we go. Just like that. Then we're going to bring the green one in. We want the white on the outside, so we're going to do it so that the white is face down on the desktop underneath there. And we'll bring our dimensionals in. And we'll do duh, duh, duh. And then the last two are going to hold it centered. So once you've made one of these, you will really have an idea of how it goes. And it's, your confidence really grows. Just saying. Hi, Sue. Thanks for the welcome home again. Um, it is so nice to be back. It was a fabulous trip. Um, but I have to engage my brain a little bit now. It's just, it hasn't had to think too much. So we're going to put this, and you see this, um, these little uh, dimensionals. This is our next step. So this is going to go like that. So I'll put some dimensionals, a couple in the middle. And because it's got the design on both sides, it really doesn't matter. Boy, I'm having, I must have just cut my fingernails. They just don't seem to want to grasp anything there. So now we've done that. Now we are going to put on this piece here and see there's a little, I don't know if you can see, dimensional in the center. So we'll bring that in. And again, we're not going to worry if the dimensional shows. There we go. And, oh, I think I want to angle it a little bit more. There we go. I maybe angled it too much. If you're not as fussy, you can go a little faster too, if that's important to you. Then we have this, and I think I want to curl this. It doesn't say to do that, but I think just to add a little bit of little bit of that. And this also has three dimensionals. So those of you who do kits, do you prefer um, a, a, a decor kit or a card making kit? Which kind do you prefer? And now we're going to add the um, pine cones and the berries. So you can see that again, this is where you would add the glue gun with the glue gun, but I am just going to do it with um, these. And actually, I'm going to bring in my own glue dots so that it goes a little bit faster. So I'm going to bring in You like both, Linda? Uh, I do too. I'm, I am actually so impressed with the kits. There's some fabulous ones. And, um, and there are some that I'm looking at getting a second one of during this sale. So, okay. And we'll put that there. And like I said, I'll fix these up with a glue gun. If they seem like they're not going to stick, they seem like they're going to stick. I won't worry about it. You can see that because they're so bulky that 
it would likely be beneficial. I'm just going to pop that in there like that for now, because that, and there you have that one there. Isn't that pretty? So there's like that, or maybe it was supposed to go like this, was it? Yeah, that looks even better. There we go. So there we have two, and now we're going to do number three. So for the third one, we're going to use a big hoop. We are going to use some of the twine. We're going to use a bow. Oh, there we got it. We're going to use a big and a little pine cone. And we're going to use the gold. And then we have the bigger of the green circles. So let's just see. Yeah, that's this one here. Move that out of the way. We need some of the leaves. And we need this swooshy thing here. So I just realized they have these th three different ones here. So if you were doing this with um, some friends, each person could get one of these sheets for one of the for the projects if they were making the three. And I think we're good. You love the bear, the one with the berries. Thanks, Marilyn. It's pretty neat. That pop of red really works, doesn't it? Although we have the red bow here, so it's it's all good. Um, so let's do our glue dot again. So we'll put one here, and we'll put one directly across here. Peel the backings off. Let's see here. We'll take, whoops our twine folded in half and the loop through stick the ends through the loop and pull towards the top there we go take one end slide it under and tie a knot. So speaking of kits, several of us demonstrators in Canada are doing a fundraiser for Santa's Anonymous for the age group of 9 to 12 year olds. Um, Maybe I shouldn't talk right now. And so we're collecting donations so that we can donate to Santa's Anonymous and do donate kits while they're on sale here. So if that, I'll talk about that a little bit later, give you the link. But if that's something you want to do and you haven't done it with the demonstrator, another demonstrator, um, I am organizing that. I'm a little late to it because I was away, but... And on a ship, you don't have really very good internet access. So all the posts I did while I was away, they were I did them before I left so that you'd be able to have them. But back to this. So it, if you um, donate before, by October 30th, on October 31st, I will order kits and any commission I would make or anything I would make from them that will be donated as well and it's they're all going to go to Santa's Anonymous so if that's something you're interested in stay tuned and we will learn more about it in a minute so now we've got this done got that going somewhere there we go so now this is number three so we've done this part we've done this part because they're the same, much the same. So we need a dimensional on the back of this swirly thing uh, behind the leaves. 
So we'll do that right now. So see, there's a little thicker spot that they've given us for the dimensionals. So I'm going to curl these again. We're going to put this one down at the bottom and then the leaves on top. Like that. So, so far, so good. And then supposedly we're going to attach all of the, the heavy duty stuff. So the bow is going to go up here. So we'll do that right now. I really like these. I might be getting a second kit of this. There we go. And then we just have to put these on. So they're going to go like this. And this is going to go there. So let's go, go for it. I've mastered putting the twine on. Well, Linda, I I think I could have mastered it a little easier if I wasn't on camera. But I'm telling you, once you've done it, it does get easier. And I, I don't think you would have, I was going to say, any more trouble than me. But that, obviously, I didn't make it look too easy at the beginning. But once once you get the hang of it, it really does go pretty easily. We'll just put one little glue dot on here just to hold it in place. Tuck it in and clean up our mess a little bit. And so now we have this one and this one and this one. So one, two, and three. Do you have a favorite? I can't quite decide which one I like the best. I love them all. So how might you use these? So they look great as an ornament. So as we were sharing before, you can look at them from both sides. They look good from all sides. You can write on here. You can put the year on here. You could put someone's picture on here. So if you were doing it with children, if the child was giving it, say, to a coach or a teacher, they could put a picture on there. These ones are just the same, same idea, but it looks good, again, from both sides. So we talked about you could make them as an ornament. You could make them so that they hang on... Um, I'm just pushing things down because on a, a, you know, a wine bottle or something like that, if you're doing it as a little gift like that on a baking, or if you were going to give a kit as a gift, then you could tie it on and it would look so pretty tied on there. And it, then they have the, it as an ornament afterwards. So there you go. It's just like that. They really are fun. And I didn't practice doing them, as you can tell. So I learned as I did it with you. And the more you did it, the more I did it, the easier it got. Just make sure you find that uh, glue gun before you um, get started. So I have no idea where I put it. I'll let you know where I find that. So I said I was going to talk about the kits a little bit more. So if you are interested in donating to Santa's Anonymous and donating a kit, even um, kits are at, on average $30. But if you say, I just want to donate $5 or $10 or whatever, um, that's okay. We can combine them and get more. So... Um, 
here is the link here. I'll also put it in the comments once I am finished. Or if you like to use your QR code, there it is there. And we will get that taken care of and just make some 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 of those tweens, the seven to nine year olds, or seven, pardon me, nine to 12 year olds, make their lives a little more fun. I don't know about you, but when I was that age, I loved it if I had a, something to make during Christmas. So the another thing is I have got a class to go. So it's one of a kind class to go. Um, here's the link here and here. So on page 45 of the catalog, mini catalog, there is the one of a kind stamp set. So it's got your snowflakes, it's got your little swirl, it's got two from, and some great sentiments. And then the bundle also has this die. It's a really great price point. Um, where did I put my catalog? Um, it's likely one of the least expensive bundles. So here it is here on page 45. You can see it there and you can see a few samples here. Um, it, it's just a great little um, bundle. The other thing is, is yes, there is a sentiment that works for Christmas, but there are also other sentiments. So you're a one of a kind, uh, one of a kind, wonderful friend or little something just for you. Thank you for your kindness. So you could use this for all kinds of things or even a winter birthday or something like that. So I have got some cards designed and I've got some extra ideas. And this class, you're the first ones to hear about it. It hasn't even gone out in a newsletter yet because I just finished it up today. So um, there's that going on as well. But most of all, make sure that you're aware of the specials and if they suit you, um, contact me or take advantage of them. Go to my website, um, whatever. And once again, it's excellent to be back with you. I'm having so much fun and this has definitely got my creative juices going. So hopefully it has yours going as well. So um, take care and I'll see you next week, believe it or not. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.